So channeling uh, is a form of communication with, we think, the dead. Uh, but to me and to what the scriptures say, and my interpretation of the scriptures is it's communication with uh uh, could be the dead, but could be also those who are spirits that are mimicking or portraying themselves to be the dead. Now, last week we talked about um, God allowing the witch of Endor, who was a medium, a channeler, to contact uh, the spirit of the dead prophet Samuel. And the dead prophet Samuel came, and his message was still the same to uh, King Saul that he would, would, would be destroyed and his kingdom would be taken from him. Um, but one thing I want to just share with you is one more verse of scripture uh, when it talks about spirits and mediums. And it was common among pagan peoples. Uh, and I like how Dr. Glenn says it was it's another form of idolatry because it is. And God warned the children of Israel about becoming involved in these practices. Uh, before they went into the promised land into Canaan, he said this in Deuteronomy chapter 18. Run, don't walk to the nearest exit. He said, when you enter into the land the Lord your God is giving you, do not learn to imitate the detestable ways of the nations there. Let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire to the false gods, to the Canaanite god Melech, who they later did offer sacrifices of their children in the fire. It goes on to say who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft or casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things, now watch this, they are detestable to the Lord. If you consult mediums, if you consult channelists, if you consult spiritualists, then you are detestable in the sight of the Lord. And if that's you, I urge you today, repent and turn to God in faith.